Hi everyone and welcome to the Imperial Wealth YouTube channel. My name's Nat and in this video I'm going to show you how to set a stop loss if you're trading cryptocurrency on a centralized exchange. I'm going to specifically show you how to set up a stop loss on Binance which is the world's largest centralized cryptocurrency exchange but the concept will carry over to other exchanges and also other things like trading shares or currency. The concept of setting up a stop loss is the most important thing as it will carry over to many environments. If you want to see how to do that, stick around and I'll show you right now. Now I've logged into my Binance account and from here I'm going to navigate to the spot trading. So if I select trade right here and go to spot, this is this should give me the spot trading interface right here. So a stop loss is a very common thing to use if you are trading cryptocurrency. It's a safety net because if a trade goes against how you thought, if you thought you had a good spot to go long and you purchased some cryptocurrency, let's say Bitcoin, which is the chart we're looking at now, and you were hoping for a 5% move to the upside, but the market tanks overnight and th there's a market wide dump and Bitcoin loses 10%. Well, you can set a stop loss so that the maximum amount you can lose in that trade is let's say two or 3%. It's a safety net and it's a form of risk management when you're doing trading. Um, Setting a stop loss is not so much something that you would be doing if you are a long term investor or hodler of a coin. Basically, in that scenario, you would simply be dollar cost averaging or doing buys during a set period of time and then holding for many weeks, many months, in some cases, many years, waiting for a later time to cash in that return on investment. Now, you don't care if uh, you buy, let's say, Ethereum and it goes down by 20% in the short term, because as we all know, uh, over a year or a couple of years, you can get a you know 10x return on your investment holding certain uh, long term cryptocurrencies. So let's look at how we can practically do this on this exchange. I am going to let's say you have put in a limit order or you've just done a market order for some BTC. I've got a very small balance of USDT here. So what I'm going to do is select a market buy and I'm just going to spend that 16 US dollars and I'm going to buy some Bitcoin right now. Now we have to determine where our profit taking level is going to be. And that is going to help us determine actually where to place this stop order. So I'm just going to do this as a very simple trade. Now let's switch over to trading view because I like to use the charting features in this. They're more advanced than what you get on Binance. And I have this handy little tool here called the long position tool. So we're going to select that and then click at the rough entry point. And then we get to choose a risk and reward ratio. So I'm going to move my take profit up to a 1.5 to 1. There we go. There's my risk reward ratio. So we are going to roughly look at getting 4.3% profit if this trade does go the way we think it will go. And then it's uh, telling us that if it doesn't go the way we think it will, the appropriate place to put the stop loss would be for a loss of 2.87%. And that's roughly at this price. So now we've got a simple little indicator of a good place to pop a stop loss and a good place for a take profit. So this will vary depending on whatever trading plan you've got or what technical analysis you're doing. But for this sake of this example, uh, this is just a nice little simple one. So let's do a simple stop loss first. So this is going to be roughly 19,700. Let's use that as, a, as an amount. So to set a simple stop loss, which means that um, you are got a stop loss in place, but there is no sell order. So you're just planning on kind of holding this. Um, a simple stop loss is done under the we've got limit market and we've got this one here, which will be a trailing stop a uh, one cancels another, which is OCO or a stop limit. This is the most simple form of a stop loss. And this is where some people get a bit confused because there are two pl places to put price. 
but it's actually not that uh, complicated. All we're going to do is say that when the market hits a certain price, in this instance, I was saying about 19,700. So I'm actually going to pop it a little bit above there. I'm going to do it 19,710. When the price hits this point, our stop loss order will be created and put into the system. Now we have to tell it exactly what price we're happy for it to be sold at. And I'm going to go 19,700. The amount I will select is all of the BTC. We'll just sell it all. So when the price trades at uh, this or below, it will create the order and then the order will be executed when it, the price trades at 19,700 or below and it will sell 100% of our BTC holdings. If I select sell BTC, that will ask for an order confirmation. And then to see our, um, it'll give us a little confirmation up on the top right hand corner here. And then all of our open orders can be viewed down at the bottom here under open orders. And then it's just confirming exactly what I did. It's saying that there is a stop loss limit order on the BTC USDT pair. And the price uh, is 19,700. That's the actual price we'll be selling at. But it's also saying that the trigger conditions are that this market will, this uh, order will not be popped onto the market until it's trading at or less than 19,710 US dollars. Now, if we're going on that model that we had of taking profit at a certain level or taking a stop at a certain level, we run into a bit of a problem with a simple stop loss. Because if we try and put a limit order into the system, let's say we our profit, let's have a look at what our profit taking area is roughly uh, 20, let's call it 21,200. If we try and put a limit order for 21,200 into the system, sorry, that's a sell order. Um, we're not going to be able to execute this order or pop it in because it's going to say we've got no BTC available because it's actually locked up in this order down here. So there is a special type of uh, order called a one cancels another, which is a stop loss plus a stop profit. So I'm going to get rid of this order from the system and we're going to create an OCO order, which is under this same area here. When I click on stop limit, I'm going to select OCO, one cancels the other. And here, this is where we pop our limit um, take profit price here. So 21,000, I think 200 is what I said. And then our stop is going to, this is the exact same as what we did. So the stop price will be 19,710, where it will create the order. And then the order will uh, execute at 21,700. And I'm going to do all of my BTC. So this type of order contains a stop profit. It'll get us out of the trade when it hits our profit and it contains a stop loss. So it's built in very nice. We've got our technical set up. Now we've got the practical side of it by actually executing this trade. Hit sell BTC. Now you see we actually have two separate orders in the system where we've got a limit order up the top there as well as a stop loss. And that is the way that you do that. So make sure if you are going to engage in any short term or even day trading that you start putting in a stop loss as part of your trading strategy. It is a best practice. And if the market goes wildly against your position, it will very much limit the losses you can take on any one trade, which is really important. It's part of protecting your trading capital. So if a few trades go against you, You've only lost a very small part of your portfolio. And then when the trades actually go the way that you thought they would, you're making more profit than you would have lost. So you can become a profitable trader overall. I hope you found this content valuable. If you did, make sure you do subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't watched it already, make sure you do check out our current episode of the weekly podcast. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.